<laughs> Hello and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop. I'm your host Frank Foster and today we have a very interesting show on the Vietnam veterans of the 1st Aviation Brigade, the gunfighters. We'll take a look at their unit patch or shoulder sleeve insignia, their distinctive unit insignia or crest which was really unique and I'm sorry to say if you don't catch it now you never will because the 1st Aviation Brigade, the gunfighters, were disbanded, or as the Army would say, stood down after the Vietnam War. And we'll also take a look at some of the unique patches that are there and all of the medals that every member of the 1st Aviation Brigade would have earned in Vietnam, the basic load. So come on, I think you'll enjoy it. The 1st Aviation Brigade landed in Vietnam in May of 1966, and it stayed for eight long years. The unofficial nickname of the brigade was Flying Circus, and it was given to him by a reporter who was out with him. And, well, he was watching all of the different aviation operations that included troop transport, resupply, medical evacuation, reconnaissance, and combat support. The shoulder sleeve insignia of the 1st Aviation Brigade is a blue, ultramarine blue shield arched at the top with a golden orange swooping hawk's head to the left and wings elevated in front of a vertical unsheathed sword point upward throughout with a white blade and a red hilt. The blue and gold orange are the colors of Army aviation. The gold of the hawk and the red of the sword handle are the colors of the Republic of Vietnam and of the shoulder sleeve insignia of the U.S. Military Assistance Command, MACV, and the U.S. Army Vietnam, USAV. The Hawk, in flight, preparing to strike its prey is symbolic of Army aviation's impact on the modern ground warfare, and the Hawk was adopted as a symbol of the new capabilities of Army aviation during the initial phase of the air assault concept testing at Fort Benning in 1963. Crusader's sword was taken from the shoulder sleeve insignia of MACV and USAV and identifies the origin and the mission of the Aviation Brigade in Vietnam. The brigade's unique distinctive unit insignia is a gold-colored metal device consisting of a swooping hawk with elevated wings, head to the left for wear on the left shoulder, and head to the right for the wear on the right shoulder. Gold is one of the symbols of the Republic of Vietnam and of the color sleeve insignia of MACV and USAV, the commands under which the brigade was formed and served. The Hawk in flight preparing to strike its prey symbolizes aviation's impact on modern ground warfare. You might say, hey Frank, my patch looked a little different. I'd say, well, you're probably right because here's an example of a Vietnam-made version of the 1st Aviation Brigade patch. So the patch went on the left sleeve of a uniform and the unique distinctive unit insignia or crest went on the epaulet as shown. Here's an example of an in-country made subdue patch of the 1st Aviation Brigade. And as you can see by these two examples, there were wide variations of subdued patches. Almost every company within the brigade had its own unique patches, and these are some really unique patches from the different companies in the 1st Battalion of the 229th Aviation Regiment. The 1st Aviation Brigade was a major command of the U.S. Army in Vietnam and included a great number of subordinate units during the war. If you'd like those details, I've listed them below, along with the major campaigns of the 1st Brigade and the major battles it participated in. Got to mention that the number of aircraft assigned to the 1st Aviation Brigade during the Vietnam War varied. However, at its peak in 1970, the 1st Aviation Brigade had approximately 3,500 aircraft, making it the largest aviation unit in the history of the U.S. Army. When a new helicopter crew member arrived in the 1st Brigade in Vietnam, he would be authorized his branch insignia, unit patch, National Defense Service Medal, and in this case, his crew member wings. The 30 days service in Vietnam, our crew member would have been awarded the Vietnam Service Medal with at least one campaign star. After six months service in Vietnam, he would be authorized the South Vietnam Campaign Medal with the 60 device as shown on the right of the medals. After a year's service in Vietnam, our crewman would probably have a display like this with his unit patch, his distinctive unit insignia, his crew member wings, 
an air medal for all of the missions that he'd flown, a good conduct medal, the National Defense Service Medal, his Vietnam Service Medal with up to four campaign stars, and his Republic of South Vietnam Campaign Medal, and a unit award of the South Vietnamese Gallantry Cross Unit Citation. I want to know all of the unit awards and the date that they were earned by the 1st Brigade, you can take a look down below. Time out, please. If you're enjoying this show, please subscribe. It will keep us on the air. Thank you. Members of the brigade earned a number of significant personal decorations, and they also participated in a number of the larger battles. And I've listed five of the major battles that the 1st Aviation Brigade participated in during Vietnam down below. Nice example of a spit for crew members award case after his service in Vietnam. He has his ribbons. He has a air medal. Ha! Ah, no good conduct medal. I wonder what happened there. Probably a good story. His basic load and a commemorative medal. It's interesting to look at the bottom of his case because he has a presidential unit citation and a meritorious unit citation to go with the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry unit citation. And by the way, I've got a list of all of those unit awards and the dates they were awarded down below. An interesting display of a 1st Aviation Brigade soldier who was not a crew member, but he obviously was attached with the South Vietnamese, which the brigade supported prodigiously, and he has received some South Vietnamese awards. This brigade veteran has his senior crew member wings over his ribbon and displays his Purple Heart, multiple awards of the Air Medal, the Army Commendation Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, his National Defense Medal, his Vietnam Service Medal, his South Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry and Campaign Medal, and then three, well, three commemorative medals, the first one being for air combat, the second one for being there during Tet, the Battle of Tet, and the third one being for Army Service. Pretty impressive display. At the end of the Vietnam War, six major commands were deactivated. MACV, USAV, 1st Field Force, 2nd Field Force, MACSOG, and 1st Aviation Brigade. But I would like to point out that the 1st Aviation Brigade has been reactivated as a training brigade. Let me just touch on nine of the wings that you would find in the 1st Aviation Brigade. And starting on your left was uh, Air Crew Member Wings, the Senior Aircraft Crew Member, and the Master Aircraft Crew Member, along with the subdued variations which they would normally wear on their uniform. You would also see the Flight Surgeon Wings, which were Flight Surgeon, Senior Flight Surgeon, and Master Flight Surgeon. Three degrees of Army Aviator Wings, Army Aviator, Senior Army Aviator, and Master Army Aviator. I should note that every veteran would have had at least one gold overseas service bar for each six-month service in Vietnam, and the diagonal stripes shown on the right would be for re-enlistments of three years or more. Thank you for watching today. All of the information came from my latest book, Medals, Badges, and Insignia of the U.S. Army in Vietnam. It will be out this summer, and uh, I'll put a video out so you can leaf through it. I think you'll find it a very interesting book and the most complete reference to every medals, badge, and insignia worn by the United States Army during the Vietnam War. <laughs> okay, see you next time on Veterans Medals Workshop. If you would like more information on United States military awards for the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard, well, even the Merchant Marine, check out our books on Amazon.